the United States decision some years ago that with a new technology that might screw up the land, might screw up the water table, might cause land to collapse, uh, all uh, earthquakes to happen, all of which have happened, the fracking business that you, I hope most of you know about. But nonetheless, you could do all that damage to the soil and you could get oil from places you hadn't been able to get it before. And the United States and Canada have that oil in that whole sweep of land from the Canadian north through the Dakotas and into the middle of the United States. So an enormous investment was made by, you ready? Capitalist businessmen. You know, those people who give lectures on the 4th of July about how if things were run like a business, we wouldn't have the problems we have today. Well, it was all businesses that understood the potential of shale oil. And they went in. They borrowed billions from bankers, who are also people who know how to run things like a business, who lent them the money to drill, to destroy the land, to bring up the oil. It never dawned on these geniuses, never dawned on them, that let's see, you're bringing up a vast amount of oil. If you add the excess supply of all that oil to the market, uh, the, the, the remembrance of that first week in the economics class as a freshman, <laughs> where the teacher goes, if the supply goes up, and the demand doesn't, what's going to happen? It's on the first quiz. <laughs> and if you were real smart, you knew that if the supply goes up and the demand doesn't, the price is going to go down. But the business leaders of our energy industry, working together with the banking leaders of our financial industry, hadn't taken that course. And it didn't dawn on them that by increasing the supply of oil in a major way, which what they did, that was the result, could lead to ha, what it just led to, the collapse of the price of oil. They didn't figure out that maybe the United States and Iran, after 40 years of fighting with one another, might decide that this, this is enough. And if they did, then the Iranians, who have the second, I believe, the second or third most oil in the ground in the world, would be return, together with Iraq, which is the second or third one, whatever Iran is, and that that would increase the supply of oil, too. And if you add their returning, which they're about to do, to the shale oil, you're really pumping up the supply. You might get a drop of oil from 100 to 30 bucks which is what we have. Only the geniuses in the oil business who run their enterprises like businesses and the bankers who run it in a business-like way have destroyed that part of the United States. The unemployment in that part of the country now is incredible. There are major banks in the middle part of this country that are about to go under. You'll see that in the next few months because they made loans to all of this and they can't recover the loans. Texas and Louisiana are in deep doo-doo because they, they depend on all of this and that's going to affect our presidential election and a whole lot of other variables that people haven't begun to kind of think through. 